I know. Nice to see you. It's been too long. <clears throat> I don't really know what this video is gonna be about, but I'm just uh, saying hi. I'm doing the dishes, so this is the first time in a month I do dishes. <gasps> That's nasty. I guess what I wanted to talk about in this video today is the things that that I have gotten used to in Japan that are very different from Canada. Thing number one, people are Japanese. <laughs> you don't see very many white people here. <laughs> Didn't expect that one. Thing number one that I have gotten used to that will be very weird getting back to Montreal is walking on the left side. In Montreal, we do mostly on the right. You, know, you I don't know, the right is the right side. Here, it's opposite. Here, the left side is where you have to jiggle. Thing number two is, well, I haven't had a meal that's cost me more than $10 in a, a long time because food here is cheap as hell. So I remember in Canada, I would have easily, easily, all the time meals that were like 20, 30 bucks. And um, I never really thought like about it. It's like, uh, $300, I mean, three. 300 yen for a meal is like, yeah. Actually, no, that's pretty cheap. If you can find a meal for 300 yen, it's like probably made of like rat meat or something. No, I'm joking, it's just really cheap. One time I had a huge Chinese food, Chinese food, in Yokohama for 400 yen and we could barely finish it. And it came with the dessert, so that was pretty cool. For 400 yen, so that's like $4. Um, and also, <laughs> Dipping! I am... I've never liked to dip. <laughs> to all the waiters out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> Julie Dylan, you probably hate me right now. <laughs> In Japan, there's no tipping. Service is amazing. It's actually rude to tip here, FYI, because doing they're simply doing their job. So why would you give them more money for just doing what they're supposed to be doing in the first place? And on the food side of things, mostly, I usually never, ever, 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 make noise when I eat, just brought up like that. But then here in the ramen restaurants, you have to, not allowed, like it, it's just cust the custom to slurp your noodles up. And if you don't, it's almost rude to the chef because like, oh, it wasn't that good that you weren't like obsessed with it. <laughs> you know, like, if you're not, it means you didn't like it. So you better to the noodles. <laughs> Ew, this is nasty. <laughs> it's full of curry. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Alcohol here is crazy cheap. Like, you can go to the convenience store and buy, like, a 500 milliliter, like, beer thing for $2. Something smells bad. Ugh, I hate doing dishes. Look at me. <laughs> the funny thing is in Canada, everyone's like, oh my god, Uniqlo, there's a Uniqlo, that's so amazing, Uniqlo. It's like, it's such a cool clothing, like the cuts are so amazing, like, oh my god, Uniqlo. But Uniqlo here is like, I don't know, that's like everywhere. Like there's Uniqlo underneath the metro, there's Uniqlo in the mini stop, there's Uniqlo everywhere. It's like, it's really just like, random stuff. But there's also Muji everywhere, but that's, Amazing. Muji lives up to its Muji hype. I'm a little grown up doing the dishes. Here is my dish and this is my mouth. Pour some soap. You can't keep me company. Eh? Hello. Can I polish your dish? I'm gonna talk about a little bit about the fashion stuff in Tokyo. Of course you think Tokyo, everyone's like, oh, super high fashion, super blah, blah, blah. Like, it's true, but it's not true. Okay. There's Tokyo, of course. Oh my god. Okay, so, like, of course there's people who dress, like, really cool, but, like, at the same time, there's, like, the grandma or, like, the middle-aged woman who just, like, has, like, a pair of jeans and a shirt and, like, whatever. Like, it's not like everyone's, like, wearing Issei Miyake every day to, like, the grocery store. Depends where you go. You know what I'm saying? Say you're at Shibuya and Harajuku. You'll definitely find people who dress a little bit more out there and, like, just do whatever they want. But the thing is, you dress for Harajuku and Shibuya. Like, it's not necessarily that people just always dress like that. It's like, oh, I'm going to Shibuya today. I'll dress like it today. A little runway for everyone and you kind of show your cool outfits that you can't really wear. Well, you can. I mean, it's not like it's out there, but like you don't see it as much, for example. I guess some of the things you will notice really, 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 really quickly for the women is A, 
there's a lot of platform shoes. Platform shoes in Japan are massive. Like, it's just like, it's not like, you don't even look because a girl's wearing platform shoes. It's like you're expecting she's wearing platform shoes. And they're really cool. Um, chokers as well are huge here. Every, like, all the time wear. And the girls actually always wear red, like, blush, but like, not on their cheeks, but like, under their eyes, like, here, above, or like, around their eyes. Like, really, really, like, intense blush. Like, it's really intense. That's a long fucking day. I will cut it here.